Uh, you guys heard of the the whole West Virginia school br having like a mandatory evangelical thing happening? When I lived in West Virginia, actually, I went to the rival high school. His high school and my high school were rivals with each other and like played games against each other all the time. Mandated prayer or something like that. Basically, yeah, pretty much. Um, there's a lot more to it, obviously, of course, but, yeah, it was pretty bad, honestly. It was technically a voluntary event, but teachers forced the kids to go. They told them they had no choice. And then when there was protest, the same guy that handled Kylie's case, Jed Flowers... Cabell County Schools said, I'm sorry there was a misunderstanding, but it was never mandatory. They had the choice. No, they didn't. The teachers specifically told them to go. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be talking to him about pretty much. Uh, let's see. Things are technically voluntary and still end with consequences if you give in. That's true. And if that's the case with when it comes to school and religion, we have a problem, a legal problem. Cannot be coerced. Religion can't be coerced from school. And it shouldn't be coerced under any circumstances anyways. I don't give a shit. Religion should not be coerced no matter what. No matter who, no matter why. It doesn't matter. None of it does. You know, if somebody doesn't want to take part in religion, get the fuck off. They shouldn't have to, you know? But people just don't see it that way. It blows my mind. Like, they don't think two steps ahead. Like, what would be happening right now if you were being forced to live under an Islamic government? Is this really not connecting for you right now? It's because, really, they don't understand the idea behind principles. And... Um... What's the word I'm looking for here? They don't understand hypocrisy and principles. All they understand is, this is what I believe and it's correct and everybody else should believe that too and I will force it on them no matter what it takes. Wow, did the sun just turn on? That was fucking weird. Was that just me? They understand principles well. Problem is they think their principles are the only real principles. But they don't base any of their decisions on principles. It's like, I have a principle of, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think about how to frame this. I believe in the principle of freedom of speech. And as such, I understand that there are people out there who are genuinely harmful to society and using their speech to hurt other people. I get that. But I don't believe that we should censor them if they're on their own property talking to their own congregation what can there's nothing to be done at that point like because i believe in the principle of free speech if i want to stand there and talk to my own group of friends on my own property i would expect them to allow that of course they wouldn't allow that they would you know they've always tried to cause problems for atheists and stuff but that is a principle I believe in. Freedom of speech. For me and for you. For everybody. It's a principle. They don't believe in that shit. They try to reverse it. They don't care. They want freedom of speech for me and nobody else. They don't get that we live in a society that's shared between people. That we all have to work together and live together in community. And not be at each other's throats 24-7. They don't get that. Nor do they seem to care. I just don't understand. Like, they... They can claim to be for principles. Or they claim... They can claim to be principled. They're not. They're not. My principles... Apply across the board. No matter who it is. No matter what the situation. I have principled stands on certain things. You know?
people just fucking kill me sometimes, man.